Hi everybody, it's Claire back with another art journal video and in this one I am asking some what if questions. So I wanted to use my new Astra stencil and see if I could create a collage paper with it but in a slightly different way. So I'm drawing through the stencil initially um, just to get the placement of all the features where they are on the stencil. Um, I'm just using an ordinary pencil for this. And then once I've got that drawn through, I can make a start. So I, what I wondered was how I've never used a Stabilo All Pencil on a collage tissue paper before. And I wondered if it would work as a really nice way to get the kind of facial features onto the paper. So drawing through first using my pencil means I can then go in with the Stabilo Wall pencil and, you know, using different pressures, you can get different darknesses of your pencil. So I am just really carefully drawing over the lines that came through the stencil and I'm adding a few extra ones in. I can see the papers pulling a little bit. Um, so, yeah, this isn't something I've tried before. I didn't know whether it would work. Um, and obviously there are little things that are going to be affected because Stibolo All is water reactive. So even once I've activated it, then it comes to how do I stick it into my uh, journal page without smooshing the colour everywhere. So you'll see what I did in a minute. So just drawing over all those marks that I made, um, trying not to be too heavy handed because I didn't want the pen, the pencil marks to be too dark. Um, it's easier to go in lighter and then you can add more depth to them once the first layer is dry. You can go back in and add a little bit more darkness. Um, whereas if you go in too heavy, it's really difficult to pull that back. So then I'm just using a water brush and I am just making one pass over those lines and you can see it's softening them. This collage tissue paper is from Dina Wakeley Media and um, this works really nicely. So yeah, obviously the tissue paper is going to soak up some of the moisture from the uh, water brush, but it dries and yes, it dries a little bit wrinkly, but I quite like that, that little bit of texture um, that it creates. Um, and you can pull the pigment out and create shadows it's a really fun way to um, to create a collage paper in a slightly different way to just using the stencil and sticking paint through it. Um, this was a little bit different and it was nice, a nice uh, thing to have a try. So obviously I've made those eyebrows a bit darker so they're a little bit more um, obvious. I'm just being very careful really, just kind of trying to use the tip of the water brush just to um, activate that pigment, pull it forwards a bit. So once I'd done all that and I was happy, I then um, gave it a little bit of a dry using a heat tool, just pass the heat tool over it. Um, and you'll be able to see what that looked like in a second. So you can see, yes, it has made the paper go a little bit wrinkly. But I quite like that. That's quite nice. A little bit of extra texture. So I'm just carefully cutting it out. I apologise. This is just a little bit off screen there. Um, I am um, just kind of cutting round. I'm thinking this image is going to go in the bottom left corner of my page. Um, so just roughly getting it to about the size I want it to be. OK, so now I was thinking, how am I going to stick this into my journal? Um, matte medium isn't going to work because I can't brush it over the top. So then I thought, OK, um, I'm going to put some white acrylic paint down onto my page just where the image is going to go. So you can see I've roughly drawn round where the edge of the image would be. And I'm putting quite a thick layer of paint on here. And um, my thinking here was that acrylic paint will act as a glue and I am just going to lay my image over the top of this white paint while it's still wet and then I can stick the collage paper down. And um, I was thrilled to bits that it worked, So, you, but you've got to work while it's um, still wet and make sure your fingers are dry and you don't pull some paint from the edges on top of your image but you can see here I'm literally just smoothing it down getting a little bit of extra paint just to pull around those edges 
and actually it, it smooths out quite nicely. So this um, worked quite well and having that white underneath there too meant that um, my image maintained that kind of nice white crispness. And once it's dry, I can then go in and add some more colours over the top of it if I really wanted to. Um, but actually, you know, sometimes it's really fun to just have a play with those what if questions. I wonder if this will work. And sometimes you can hit on something that you think, I'm going to try this again. And sometimes, no, nah, it's an absolute disaster. And um, no, never, never, ever tried again. So now what I've got to be careful of is that any wet media that I put near the edge of my drawing is going to um, pull the pigment out from the stibolo also. I'm going to be a little bit careful now with what I go in with next. So I am just adding a little bit of collage tissue paper onto the background before I go in with some paint and some colour um, just to try and bring this page alive. Um, but really this kind of this whole journal page just started off from can I use a stibolo all pencil on collage tissue paper through a stencil and make a really cool image and obviously once you've created that image then you can do all sorts with it you could you know splat paint at it you could um, spray it with gloss sprays you can stamp onto it to add more interest there are so many things you could try um, you could also do all that to the collage tissue paper first, paint, gloss sprays, um, dry it and then do this technique over the top. Fun to try. So now I am using some paints, of course, pinks and purples, favourite colours. And I am just going to pull these colours around the face, um, carefully pulling up to the edge to that line. Um, if I paint over it and it does pull it out a little bit, I'm not so bothered. That first one was magenta. This is orchid. I'm going to kind of blend the colours one into another. Um, and um, if I did draw over the lines, I could always come back in with my Stubolo oil pencil and draw over them again. And I think some of you might be thinking, well, what's the point of why draw it onto the collage tissue paper? It is just about having a play, just trying something out that's, you know, an idea that pops into your head. Because, of course, the different techniques give you different looks. Um, and, and, and this was a fun one to try. And using paint as a, as a glue as well uh, was a technique that worked really well because it meant it didn't affect my image that I'd created using the Stubolo wall pencil on the collage tissue paper. So that's magenta orchid, this is blackberry um, and I'm just going to kind of blend these colours one into another, um, some of my favourite colours here, as you will know, purples, pinks, mm, all that's missing is a turquoise. So this is my floating stencil from Funky Fossil. I have some of these on my website um, and I'm just uh, pulling some of the paint off through the stencil. Um, I didn't put any gesso on my page before I started. So in some places it's more effective than others. And I am being a little bit careful not to um, print any circles onto my lovely white image that I've created there. Um, but doing this bit of reductive stenciling just kind of creates that first layer, doesn't it, of, um, of interest. And then I'm going to use the same stencil and I am going in with, I think that's heather. It's either heather or carnation, one of the two. A nice pastel colour. Um, I'm not so worried about adding in too much white at the moment because there's a fair bit with that image um, down there and kind of wanted to create lots of interest on the other parts of the page. And this is a stencil as well. I, th I can't remember what this is called. This was from my latest release. Um, it might be called Starry. I'm not sure. Um, just a lovely text stencil. I've just gone in with a really nice dark purple through there. 
so I'm not kind of introducing too many colours onto the page that aren't already used there. Jane Davenport's palette pastels, I just wanted to bring a little bit of colour to the cheeks, um, just to soften that a little bit. Um, but I probably won't be pulling any more colour onto this face. I'm just going to leave it as it is. So now I've decided I wanted to go in with a black gel pen. I'm not going to be using any wet media on this face now at all. So I'm just kind of doing some quite loose scribbly lines over the lines, over the stibolo all. Um, I'm just playing really, seeing what effect it creates. Um, and can I sharpen up the image at all? What effect does it have? Does it, is it worth doing? Is it not worth doing? Uh, so yeah, I think sometimes it's really fun to ask yourself all these what if questions like what if I try this now, will it alter it, will it spoil it, um, does it enhance it, should I not have bothered, <laughs> all those questions are really fun to ask and then I decided I'd add some more wiggly hairs around the face and then it's time to go in with some writing. So I'm just adding my words into that space that's perfect for um, a little bit of text. So first of all I am writing it in once and then I go back in and add a little bit more boldness to um, parts of the letters. So then I'm using a thicker Posca pen, I'm going back over the letters and I'm just adding like a little line at the end of the letters as well and it just brings a different style of font to the page. Um, so again, just you know, playing with what happens if I do this to the writing, what will it look like? I really like this style of writing, I think it's really cool. Um, it's just simple things that you can try that can just um, level up your journal page. So next I am using my Shoot for the Stars text stamp, you can also find that on my website and Black Archival Ink and I'm just adding a little bit of stamping onto my page as well. I'm overlapping it onto the uh, image that I've created too, just to help that feel a bit more um, grounded and part of the page. It's always a good idea to just overlap things a little bit. I've added some dots on as well and then I'm going in with a white cardboard tube, a white cardboard tube, oh a tube and adding in some white circles and some splatters as well because that is a great way to finish off um, and it just softens those areas I think too. And then finally, of course, it's time to add some hearts onto my journal page. And I just um, popped some of those onto the hair. I'm um, just using a piece of white card that I've painted pink using some permanent red violet light from Amsterdam Acrylic um, with a little bit of stamping on. And that was pretty much how this page came together. So fun, lots of fun asking those what if questions. Um, it's a fun process to go through. Um, give it a try. If you haven't tried using Stibolo All on collage tissue paper, give it a go because it's really fun. You can create a really cool image. Um, so thanks for watching. I hope you've enjoyed the video and I hope to see you back again soon.